Robotic technologies have been widely used in both open and minimally invasive surgery. However, robotic applications to endovascular neurosurgery for treating stroke or aneurysms have remained largely underexplored. Existing vascular robotic systems are designed to use conventional passive guide wires. However, such passive guide wires have limited steering capabilities, especially in the narrow and winding pathways of the brain's blood vessels. To enable robotic applications to endovascular neurosurgery, we present a telerobotic neurointerventional platform which allows robotic manipulation of a magnetically steerable guide wire. Our system uses a robot arm with an actuating magnet to steer the magnetic guide wire by changing its position and orientation relative to the wire. The system also uses a motorized linear drive to advance or retract the guide wire. We demonstrated our system's performance in silicon models replicating the complex and tortuous vasculature of the brain. When compared with manually controlled passive guide wires, we found that our robotic system helps to achieve safer and quicker access to hard to reach targets in the complex cerebral vasculature. In addition, our robotic system allows an operator to work remotely from the radiation source to minimize X-ray exposure during the intervention. Using our telerobotic neurointerventional system, we performed endovascular procedures for brain aneurysms. After reaching the target aneurysm with our magnetic guide wire, we deployed a microcatheter over the guide wire to deliver embolization coils into the aneurysm. We also applied our system to endovascular treatment of ischemic stroke, with a simulated clot obstructing the blood flow in the model vasculature. We used our system to manipulate the magnetic guide wire to reach the artificial clot and then to place a microcatheter across the thrombus. We then used a stent retriever device to remove the clot under real-time teleoperation of our system. Our robotic system could help to prevent human errors and fatigue to improve the quality and safety of endovascular neurosurgery. Furthermore, it may open possibilities for telerobotic stroke intervention based on remote surgery to address the logistical challenge in the current stroke systems of care.